Now this question, uh, when you read it carefully, is about 50 people and it's the amount of uh, time that they take to wait in the checkout before they can pay for their goods. So we look at the question then, what does it want? It wants to work out an estimate for the mean time. Now we have to remember that the mean average time or the mean average of anything is about getting a total of something uh, divided by the number of numbers that gave that total. So formulas, you know, we keep advising you that it's very useful sometimes to have the here formula. So the calculation for the mean um, for a table of data like this, uh, this particular data is in the groups. Um, so you've got 23 here who took between 0 and 2 minutes, uh, 9 people who took between 2 and 4 minutes and so forth. Um, again, just look at the symbols. This one was equal to 2 minutes. This one is saying it's got to be time is greater than 2 minutes but less than or equal to 4. So these 9 people took over 2 minutes but less than or equal to 4 minutes. Um, because it's group data, then the formula for calculating the mean average is the total, this funny symbol just means total, of the variable, which is in this case is time, times the frequency of each of the intervals, and you divide that by the number of numbers, which in this case uh, we just call it the sum of the frequencies. So we need to calculate. Now, quite often in these questions, the exam board are generous, they kind of tell you it really that you should be adding something into this table. Um, just remember though that if they give you a table with just the two columns, the groups and the frequencies, you have to be ready to add on that um, column to do the calculations. So we're going to calculate the XFs here and then when we do this um, total here, that's going to be the sum of the XFs. That's going to be the total we require for the mean average. So X in this case, well, we've got to be careful here because it is the variable time, but which of the times do we use for these 23 people? Well, it's obviously not going to be naught because they did take some time. Um, it's saying it's greater than naught, but to use two would be an overestimate because some of these people, we'll assume, were slightly below the average time in this interval and some people above. So the word estimate is really suggesting we use the midpoint. So the midpoint of the interval. So for the variable, we're going to do 1 minute times 23. So we're estimating these 23 people took 23 minutes um, of time to wait to pay. These nine people, they took between 2 and 4. So our estimate will be 3 for each one, the midpoint. So we're going to do 3 times 9, 27. And again, we're going to estimate that these eight people took 5 minutes. So 5 times 8, 40. These six people took seven minutes, so seven times six is 42 minutes. And these four people took between eight and ten, so we're going to estimate that they each took the average uh, time in there of nine minutes or the midpoint. So nine times four is 36. We then um, add up these numbers. Now again, it's a calculator paper, guys, so the best thing to do is use your calculators, although you, know, you should be able to do it in your head. Uh, you know, don't risk it. Do it twice in your calculator, check you get the same number twice as your answer. So 23, 50, 90, 132, 162, 168. So the total is 168. Uh, do a quick check on the calculator to make sure. So 23 plus 27 plus 40 plus 42 plus 36 equals so 168. Um, the mean definition of it is the total of all the data divided by the number of numbers that gave you that total. So we look carefully, they told us there was 50 people. Now the formula says that we want the sum of the frequencies. So we could do a double check and add up the frequencies and find that it does give us 50. So the mean average is found by doing the total time for all these 50 people, which we've estimated as 168 minutes, divide by the 50 people. And if we do that, then 168 divide by 50, 3.36, so 3.36 minutes. Now again, you could in your mind do a quick check to make sure that seems reasonable. So 168 divided by 50, well, if we do a divide by 100, that would be 1.68. Because we want to divide by 50, we double that answer up, so 3.36 is the correct answer for the sum we've got. Again, another check you must do with these kind of questions is you look at the original data and ask yourself, is it sensible to have 3.36? And we look in here and we can see that 3.36 fits within the time. The lowest possible time was around 0. The biggest possible time was 10. So 3.36 fits within there. 
a common mistake on this question is students do 168 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows of data. So some, you know, some students would do that, they'd work out the total, but then they divide by 5, which again would give you 33.6 minutes. Well, you should recognise that that is not possible because the biggest amount of time taken at the checkouts was 10 minutes. So do do that check. Check that the answers you get seem reasonable compared to the information. But the advice, as always, learn the formulas and use them when appropriate.